This video and others like it are funded by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. An American tourist died in Cartagena. He was found in critical condition in the city center. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. Another unfortunate story that I have to pass on to you. Let's just jump into it. On the morning of Wednesday, January 10th, the death of an American tourist was reported in a hotel in the historic center of Cartagena. The deceased was identified as David Jesse Collin, 46 years old, and was staying in an establishment in the San Diego neighborhood. The accommodation staff became concerned when they did not receive a response from Collin after repeated calls from the reception. So they decided to go to his room and knock on the door. When they received no response, they proceeded to open it with the cleaning services keys. When the hotel employees entered the room, they found the American lying on the bed and in critical condition. They immediately notified the authorities to try to save his life. However, despite the rapid intervention of the emergency team from the Emergency and Emergency Regulatory Center, David Davis Jesse Cullen lost his life. The Cartagena Metropolitan Police arrived at the scene to begin investigations confirming the identity of the man who had been staying at the hotel for several days. The case has attracted public attention given the profile of the deceased and the mysterious circumstances of his death. Since preliminary versions indicate that the foreigner's death would have been caused by a drug overdose. However, the authorities are waiting for the forensic opinion of the forensic medicine to cooperate or deny this theory. Meanwhile, investigators are gathering evidence from the hotel room where he had been staying for several days to clarify the facts. Now there's more to this story. Well, this story ends, but there's more to the story from yesterday, but it continues on via this story. Let's continue on. I'm going to run the video of this uh, American who was rescued a few days ago in Cartagena. There's actual video of the rescue. So uh, thank you so much for the assistance from the local residences. They climbed in the water and got this guy out. So let's let's thank the residents of Cartagena. Davis Jesse Cullen is not the first American involved with drugs in Cartagena. The death of Davis Jesse Cullen and his alleged relationship with the abuse of psychoactive substances is added to that of Peter Brownell O'Brien, another American citizen who was saved from drowning in a pipe in the Olea Arera neighborhood of Cartagena. The events involving O'Brien occurred on Monday, December 8th, within the framework of the Three Kings holiday, when a group of residences of the sector realized that he was inside the body of sewage, disoriented and in an evident state of drowsiness. Several people immediately jumped into the water, pulled him out and notified the authorities who arrived at the scene and were able to find the foreigner's passport that certified him as a U.S. citizen. Peter Brownell O'Brien was taken to a medical center where they determined that he was intoxicated and under hallucinogenic substances. Likewise, the Cartagena Metropolitan Police announced that it was not the first time that they had found a drug man and that at least on three other occasions, they had taken him to care centers for the same reasons. On Saturday, January 6th, the citizen had already been admitted to the Caribbean University Hospital from the Manga neighborhood for being in a high state of excitement and using inappropriate language. The foreigner was discharged on Sunday the 7th in the afternoon, indicated the Cartagena police. In a previous case, O'Brien was found drugged and sleeping in Parque Apolo in the Cabrero neighborhood. When he was awakened by the authorities, he took a hostile attitude and insulted the uniformed officers. Days ago, he was in the Jumbo in Caribe Plaza, speaking to himself with very manic movements a little upset, said a social media user. The police concluded that after leaving the medical center on Sunday, January 7th, the American went to the Alaya Arara neighborhood where he apparently used drugs again, was beaten by strangers who stole the few valuables he had with them and then threw him in a pipe. This, these stories are unfortunate. Seems like it's shifting from Medellin to Cartagena, I don't know. I mean, everybody has areas. This is not indicative of the country, 
I have to say that. And remember, mostly the issues and, and get this straight in the comments. Most of the issues that foreigners have there are from short time visitors, not expats who live there. Yes, it does happen to expats, and I'm sure. And, you know, for the most part, I just want you to know it's those short timers who come down and somebody slips. Remember, you only have to slip once. They can make many mistakes. There, there's another fish in the sea. But you can only slip one time. So if you're the weakest link in your crew, you've drunk too much, you're not paying attention, or you get involved in this type of activity, well, if this is, in fact, uh, what happened, we don't know. Let's, I want to put that out, especially remember family members watch these videos. So let's be conscious that we don't know for sure. We never really know unless they do a follow up. But I'm working on trying to do the best I can to get these follows up. So stay with me on that. But because there's a lot of cases that have happened and we never followed up on them, just like the missing uh, James Troublefield. We have to continue to follow up. Remember, we are a community. We're supposed to help each other, especially tourists and visitors. We're supposed to help each other no matter what country we come from. We are travelers. I'm a traveler. If you're watching this channel, you're a traveler or you want to travel. So I want to encourage you guys to travel. There's many places to go. Remember that many places, many countries, many cultures, many cities in your own uh, state, many states in your own country. So keep that in mind. Anyway, remember to travel, but travel safe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. Okay, guys, another day, another trip. I'm getting ready to hit the road, and guess what? One product I'm taking with me. That's right, it's the Epica Travel Adapter. It's going with me wherever I go. You need to do the same. Thanks for hitting like, you did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like, thanks for hitting like. DC Born Rob.